Hey, Sage here. So the thing is, is that I've been meaning to make this one. Well, Anchor want to have the idea to, to to make this as a wave, or what we call now segment. And so, but I had I had um, I just kept forgetting to do it. And so, basically, this this is the situation. I learned years ago that a lot of people think that there's when you hear the word wealth, most people think of financial wealth. But in actuality, there are 12, not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, 12 types of wealth at the very least that I'm aware of. Um, and so there was a book that kind of made me aware of that situation. Um, it just was a one chapter within a, a, a bigger book. But the 12 types of wealth are basically, you know, the number one would be having health and energy. Um, number two is spiritual wealth, which is basically a sense of connection, inspiration, and awe. Um, number three is love wealth, having a partner in your life that supports you, you support them, you trust them completely, they trust you completely, and you have this real person to go through life with. Um, number four would be family wealth. Having kids, having parents, having siblings, having cousins, nieces, and nephews. Um, even though everyone has parents, not everybody knows the parents that you know that 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 gave birth to them, or and some people were raised moving from home to home. Um, so that having family is a type of wealth. Then there is friends, right? Having confidants, having partners, having activity pals, um, and having reciprocity in your your different friendships. Um, job enjoyment, having a job that gives you a sense of impact, a sense of, of fulfillment, a sense of doing something, of, of, of having you know, a job that, 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 that you really enjoy. Um, having finances, having cash in the bank, having you know, investments, having property, you know, all those type of things, that's you know, financial wealth, right? So then you have creative wealth, right? Having creativity, having talents, um, having various, you know, um, hobbies, those are those type of things. Then you have fun and adventure. That's another type of wealth, being able to travel, being able to go to concerts, being able to go to, you know, to, to movies and just, just, just do something, go to the, the, the theater, but do something fun, you know, go to amusement park. Um, peace of mind. Peace of mind is an, an invaluable form of wealth. If you have everything else, but you'd never have peace of mind, what a horrible life that would be <laughs> to never, ever have peace of mind. Um, so peace of mind and, and tranquility and stress, you know, uh, to be, be able to de-stress, you know, is these are important things. Um, and then self-improvement, being able to develop better habits, you know, work on your patience, work on your kindness, work on your, you know, all those type of things, to being able to have the access to improve yourself and grow in, in, in your life, you know. Again, if there's no growth, you can't have any happiness. Um, so, and then the last one would be intellectual wealth, um, being connected to things like art, music, literature, um, beauty and poetry, right? These, these are, you know, that's, that's intellectual wealth is an, is a, a important type of wealth as well. So whatever people, you know, try to define themselves as wealthy, am I wealthy? You know, you have to realize that wealth is more than one thing. You know, wealth and abundance are more than one thing for sure. I know for me personally, when it comes to creativity and talents, that's an area where I'm like Bill Gates. <laughs> you know, I've got a lot of a lot of creativity, that's for sure. So that's an area where like, yeah, I probably don't need more of that, you know, but but in other areas of my life, yeah, I could use more of, of other things, you know. And so that's, I think the key in life is finding the balance point finding the point where you can, you know, I, I've only met one or two people in my life that have the full gamut, that have everything, that have the, like, the full list of 12, you know, um, but, and all of us are lacking in one area or another, but I think finding where you, you have more than not, like, I had one person in my life that had only one and was missing the other, ele other 11, and he was miserable, you know, and then I kind of cued him in, and then he was like, oh, yeah, that's why I'm miserable, because I'm missing the other 11, but uh, like I said, having balance of the 12 types of wealth, I think, is, is, is an important part of happiness.